So, what to do when it's a holiday weekend and all of the campgrounds are going to be packed? Well, what we do is take advantage of our Harvest Host membership and stay at one of our favorite wineries for free. We are also members of Tobin James Wine Club, so Tobin actually allows us to stay for more than one night. We called several days ahead of time and made these arrangements. They check our membership, take down our name, give us the rules, remind us not to burn the place down, and to check in with the tasting room when we arrive. We snuck out of work early on Friday afternoon, made the three-hour drive, got set up in the field in our favorite spot. Jim and Lexi relaxed after the drive. And I headed across the street for a tasting and to stock up on some of our favorites. We shared the field with only one other RV. They were gone by the time we got up the next morning. There are so many benefits to this program. It's easy to get a place to stay on a holiday weekend. There's no campers from hell in that site next to you. You pretty much have the place to yourselves after they close. It's usually incredibly quiet. Oh, and then there's the wine. Or cheese or fruit or vegetables, whatever the host offers. I spent an hour or so in the tasting room and enjoyed that white list. Saturday morning, we headed up the 101 to a winery that we had not been to before, San Marcos Creek. Friends had suggested San Marcos Creek and we weren't disappointed. A nice tasting, some great purchases, and then a visit with one of the resident peacocks. Headed to Bar State Winery, another new one to us. Great wines, great people, and we heard some beautiful music coming from the patio. And then this meeting and listening to our new friend, John Stefan.
after our picnic, wine, and visiting with John, listening to his music for a few hours, time to head back to the trailer for dinner. Day two of wine tasting took us to Hunt Cellars for a super fun visit, tasting, and some barrel tastings. And then a private tour of our friend's vineyard. We piled in his Jeep, dog included, and had to put it in four wheel drive to get up some of his hills. Super interesting, super fun, and really cool to have this private tour. We finished with a tasting at one of our favorite wineries, Glunn's Family Winery where we had a little dog party. If you have any questions about the Harvest Host program, ask them in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this, go ahead and give us a thumbs up.